Good morning, everyone. Three and a half weeks post surgery. Was headed to Disney, and they're calling for um, thunderstorms this afternoon. Not just like rain, but like actual thunderstorms. So I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna do that. So anyway, coming to the Palm Beach Zoo here, and um, let's go in and enjoy the day. So here is the front of the zoo and you can come over here I, think, I believe there's bathrooms over here and you walk around and there is um, tickets and membership and stuff you can buy so the lady who scanned my ticket told me about this every day they had zoo chats so at 10 a.m. bald eagle 12 bear and at 3 it's going to be the bald eagle again and here is a map you can also scan for a map on your phone and then you can do some also you can do some animal experiences so right here you can do a giant porcupine experience so you can hang out with the porcupines so when you come into the zoo there's all these different little islands so this is the front of it and you just come in and you have all these different little um land so we're gonna do the florida wetlands first there's a parasol a nature plate and the bears oh here's some flamingos so let's go take a peek at the flamingos Shaded um, zoo. It's very nice. A little picnic area here. There's a carousel here. We're going to go into the marsh now. So, this is an albino alligator. His name is. Marty. And this is about him. He weighs about a thousand pounds. It's a female, 35 to 50 years, freshwater, slow moving rivers and swamps. They eat fish, turtles, snakes, and small mammals. here has it moved a centimeter. I don't know if she's sleeping. It's so cool though. And they have a bald eagle here. I don't know, I can't see if it's showing up, but oh, it's so beautiful. Look how cute you are. Let's see if I can over here. It's following me. Oh, how sweet. Alright, let's see here. So, 6 to 14 pounds, 1 to 3 eggs, and up to 28 years. Bald eagle. That's so cool. Let's keep walking. So the cute little paths here. If you don't see me here, check the panthers bow. So there's panthers over here. Welcome to the bear den. Beware, food trash attracts the bears. Let's see. Oh, there they are, way in the back there. Aww, how sweet. 
there's two of them back there. Way back there. Let's come on back. See if I can get a little closer. How oh, sweet. Aww. All right, so black bears can weigh up to 600 pounds. They have two to three cups per litter. 25 years. They eat grass, berries, fruits, nuts, roots, insects, fish, and other small animals. They aren't always black. Sometimes they're bright brown or gray or have white fur when they're first babies. They can hibernate up to seven months. A sleeping bear can still wake up disturbed. Right, look at the two owls, they're so pretty. So they weigh one to two pounds, one to five eggs, they last up to 10 years. They like expensive to see. Young bar owls can climb trees by grasping their barks with their bills and talons. Oh, cool. Look at how pretty. Someone's looking at me. All right, it looks like we're coming up to the panther area. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little creepy. All right, so this is the panther area, but I'm not seeing any. They might be inside there, get some something to eat or something. Cougar. I can't return into the wild because they were separated from their mother long before they learned their hunting skills. So here's the, when they were babies. and Nico. So Nico is a cougar and she is a Florida panther. See. It's all the flamingos over there again. Oh, they're getting some food. <laughs> You see them? This bird's up here. Got a little nest under them. I don't know if you can see. Look at the flamingo. They're so happy. Look at them. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> so each section makes just a big circle. So we just went through the Florida wetlands. That's where the bear and um, flamingos and uh, panthers are. So we'll head over here to the tropics of America. Over here is where the restrooms are, a cafe, and a gift shop is. So we're going to have to go in there and take a little peek. And come up here to the bathrooms, the restaurant, and stuff. So, so here is the restaurant, bathrooms, a little cafe, and a little indoor eating area. It doesn't look like it's quite open right here, this part. It looks very cute. So there's a mobile order hay. I'll come this way and show you everything. And a cute little walking path here. 
thought they said the turtles were over here. This is how the zoo is. It's like a little path shaded. It's very, very nice. When you buy your tickets online, it's $30 to buy it online. I think it's $38 when you purchase it at, um, at the zoo. See here, there's a sign. Might be a little turtle right here. So here is, t welcome to Tiger River. You can help with the wild tigers. So on this little island here, I just saw the red-tailed lemur, or the red ruffled lemur running around. Kind of hoping I would see him again, but, oh, there's a bird right there. Mm -mm. But I don't see it. And let's see what's coming up here. There's some more lizards. Look at them all. Look at this one right in front of me. <laughs> There's a couple of big ones right here too. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness, look at the big, big one over in the corner. I haven't seen him before. Oh my word, look at him. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. You see this big guy? <laughs> okay, let's look at them. Look at how cute they are. So you can actually go in there and feed them and have an experience. And these trees are so cool. I don't know if you can see this one. She was telling me that sometimes you could see like nine of the iguanas lined up. I did go to Duncan after the zoo here. I did make the executive decision to not go to Disney today. I was up, I was ready to go, I was packed. I looked at the weather and it was like a 60% chance of thunderstorms. If the weather ever says 10% it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. And it normally rains every day in the summer, but it wasn't like a brief shower. It is like thunderstorms, they're calling for thunderstorms. And I was just like, oh, three and a half weeks out after surgery i just don't know if that's the best plan for me and my healing journey it actually looks like it could start storming here any minute so i did go to the palm 
Beach Zoo. I've never been there. A couple things about it. I really like that the animals are more like in a natural habitat. Um, a lot of stuff still wasn't open because I went early enough because it's supposed to storm today. So I wanted to um, do a video for you. Um, they have some really cool animals. Some of the animals I didn't get to see because I think they were being fed and being taken care of, which that's fine. It's understandable. Um, I thought the cafe area was really nice. It wasn't open quite yet, but a lot of shade. Um, you could sit and have nice indoor, outdoor was shaded. I thought it was very lovely. The zoo itself is very shaded and very nice. I, I did think that was really great. Um, it is, I believe, $38 at the door. I know that they do a lot for the animals and I like that they really, they rehab animals, they take care of them, stuff like that. Do think that's a little pricey. Um, because I think I was there for maybe an hour. You, it is not an all day zoo. I would say one to two to three hours. If you had little kids and you lived in the area, I'd definitely get a membership because I have like that little splash pad area and they have a lot of zoo talks and they've, they also have like where you can experience, um, animals and like, you know, feed animals, stuff like that. So they have a lot of other options. So definitely would get a membership if I lived closer and I also, um, had littler kids for sure. Everyone was really nice. Um, so it's a very lovely time. I definitely think you should always go and visit it. The flamingos are so cool because we don't really see flamingos here on this side of Florida. They're kind of usually more on like the west side in the golf section. But anyway, it was kind of cool to see that. The white, the albino, did I say that wrong? The white alligator was really cool. Um, I wish I would have seen some tigers or the panthers, but like I said, I think they were eating, so no big deal. Um, but anyway, I did stop at Duncan on the way home, and I got these s'mores ice brew. Is that what it is? Um, I already took a sip. It totally reminds me of Joffrey's coffee. It has a little bit of um, graham cracker on the top and like marshmallow. Um, it is very good. Again, I think I'm like the last person to ever have tried this. It's been out for a while. I have yet to try the s'mores donut. Um, every time I go to get one, it is only 11 here. Every time I go to get one, they're out, they're sold out. So it must be very that good. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. I am planning on next week. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. It'll be four weeks on Friday. Um, and so every day is better and getting more energy and everything's doing really well. So again, enjoy the video. I'll talk to y'all later.